comparing distributions. Now, in this video, we're going to go through an example and we're going to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of mean, median, and mode. And in this example, it says that the following data represents the score, runs scored by two professional cricket players over a period of 10 games. So here's Adam and Ben, and we've got this, uh, the scores that they received. Question A says, calculate the median and mean for each data set. Okay, so let's start with um, the mean for Adam, and then we'll do the mean for Ben. Now, when you add all the numbers up for Adam, you'll get 400. And when you add the scores up for Ben, you'll get 400 as well. And since they both played 10 games, we divide by 10, and they get a mean of 40. So they both have the same mean. Let's look at median now. Let's see if that's the same. 4, Adam and for Ben. All right, I'm going to pause and because I need to write all the numbers in order. I'm going to pause and, and bring it up. All right, so we have our numbers written in order. So for Adam, the median's going to lie here, halfway in. So the median is 35. And for Ben, the median's going to lie between the 30 and 40, and that's 35 as well. So they both have the same median and also the same mean. So let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each. First of all, the mean, I would say, is quicker and easier to calculate than the median. And the reason being is that the median can take a long time because you have to put them in order. So for the median, we'll give it, put a disadvantage, which is that it can be long and tedious to calculate. All right. So what's the disadvantages of the mean? The disadvantage of the mean, and, and you'll notice that the mean is bigger than the median. And the reason this happened, if you look at Adam in particular, Adam has an outlier of 110. And outliers, quite often, will distort the mean. And this 110 has distorted the mean and made it become bigger, a bit bigger. It's become 40 instead of being around the 35 mark. So for disadvantages, we'll just say that the outlier distorts the mean. And the advantage for the median is that it ignores outliers. Okay, let's talk a bit about mode. Mode has its, its advantages and disadvantages. Um, just like the mean, it's, it's quick and easy. Uh, for disadvantages, to be perfectly honest, most of the time it's useless. It doesn't usually give a good measure of center. Oops, I can't spell. It doesn't give a good measure of center. Most of the time it doesn't. Um, the only time that it's really useful is when you have data that is categorical, meaning it's not numbers. So it's useful for categorical data, such as the color of your hair or something that's not a number. 